Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, March 9th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile, SPY IWMN, Triple Qs. Plain and simple, the biggest thing to focus on right now is yesterday's highs in all three of these indices. Because if we take them out, the buyers at least come into balance on the daily, right? Monthly's down, weekly's balance, daily's down. We've continually tested down towards the lows, especially in NQ and triple Qs in bad territory. I mean, they pushed yesterday and overnight right above it. And here we are again now, $10 above it. So they are defending these levels tremendously. Uh, we've had tremendous ranges. We said yesterday, put your hard hats on. Well, even though we're, we're up right now pre-market in SPY um, by almost $8, guess what? We're not even into the sell tail and the excess that we had yesterday. So, you know, they're not huge percentage moves because it's a $420 stock. But it is the S&P 500, so these moves are incredible. Okay? We said we had an 8 wide pop, the day's high, the day's low. Right now, the overnight high is 420, We're not far off it right now. The overnight low is 416.25. We're all near our overnight highs. We all had sell tails and some excess. Remember, excess ends one auction, starts another. Well, again, it did start another one. We went from 427 down to 416 uh, in M period. So it was an $11 auction to the downside. Now we're right back up. Are we going to take back this excess? Let's put it this way. If they can't, well, then nothing's changed and the sellers are still in control because we're still down in the daily. Really crucial things to realize. We have double distributions here on our overnights. So just like we treat trend days as separate days, I don't I don't look at this as importantly as a trend day during regular trading hours, but it's something I will certainly keep an eye on um, if we are to pull back. Uh, as what's the game plan? Again, these things change. Uh, talk about um, a fluent situation. So right now, depending on where the overnight high is, again, there's 75 minutes to go. I mean, we can get way into the sell tail. We can get above the sell tail. But if we're anywhere, say, between G's high with the overnight high and everything, can you take a short against and front run the overnight high the first time? You can. Just keep in mind, plain and simple, you'd be doing it with higher value most likely if we are to open here. On the flip side, <clears throat> if in the next 75 minutes we gap higher above yesterday's high and fill the remaining single prints from the 7th, well, then you could certainly look to take a long against both two things. You want to stay above A's low and stay in the upper distribution and hold the gap. And then you would have higher value. So you could certainly take a long against that to then try to get March 7th high. And don't forget we have, where is that little gap we still have? Oh, that's, uh, that's even higher. Forget that right now. So those, that's an early plays here if this market really rallies in the next 75 minutes above and again if we open around here to take a short against the overnight high in the next 75 minutes if we open flat inside of value and balance there's no trade for me there because then you are going to have tremendous tremendous chop again in the room you're going to be getting this up to the minute update as the market evolves and the same goes true for Q's and Russell you know, the important thing you have to keep remembering is Russell has been bare. Q's ha I can't believe how many times triple Q's have touched into bare territory and keep backing out of it. At some point, it's going to go through if we keep getting down there. So here's what we're talking about. The daily is firmly down. We have to take out yesterday's high for anything to change and come into balance. If you can't, nothing changes. We're up $8, almost 2% pre-market, yet we are still... $3 off of yesterday's high. It'll be interesting if we can take it. If we can take it, we come into balance. How big is the balance? Well, then that depends. If we can't take out the um, seventh high, it's a three-day balance. If we take out the seventh high and go for the fourth high, it's a four-day balance. Now, the 20-day moving average is also going to be moving down once we open. So at some point, if we take out yesterday's high and start getting legs, that's going to become a collision course. I wouldn't doubt if it, uh, if it becomes a collision course between um, the fourth tie and where the 20-day moving average continues to move. 
Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.